afternoon and welcome to my kitchen and today we're going to make some Super Bowl snacks and one of Rick's favorites has got to be jalapeno poppers and he's made those in a video previously and I'll link that below but today we're gonna do a different take on that and we're gonna do sweet pepper poppers three different ways stuff some with my pimento cheese that you saw me do in another video. I have it in a zip top bag here just ready to squeeze into some of these peppers. I'm going to set that off to the side. We are also going to stuff some with a mixture of cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and bacon. Um, crumbled bacon. And then we're also going to do a take on a buffalo chicken in the stuffing. And we're going to do a half a brick of cream cheese, a half a cup of cheddar cheese, about a half a cup of home canned chicken or you can just use the chicken out of the can use one small can and uh, some Frank's Red Hot and then we're going to wrap everything in bacon and we're going to try out a nifty new way of baking these so that they're upright and um, all of the filling won't ooze out of them so we're going to get started here I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start mixing up my uh, my buffalo chicken filling here and really this is super simple you stuff your peppers with whatever you like like I said I've got about a half a cup of um, home canned chicken or you can do diced chicken or you can do a can of like the Swanson's chicken um, and I would just use a small can and drain it I also have about a half a cup of shredded cheddar and a half a brick so that's four ounces of cream cheese and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Frank's Red Hot in here I'm going to put in a good couple of tablespoons because that's going to moisten this mixture up just a little and make it creamy and easy to push through a bag because that's going to be the easiest way for us to get it inside the peppers. I'll have Rick show you the peppers. These are these little sweet um, bell peppers and <clears throat> they come in a bag like this. I know you can get them at Sam's Club, we get them at, I think I've seen them at every grocery store that we go in here. So Walmart, Harris Teeter, um, The Pig, Food Lion, I've seen them at all of those. And these are relatively inexpensive, about $2.50 a bag. And there's a lot of peppers in that bag. It's Piggly Wiggly so you don't... Oh, did I say the pig? Yes. I'm so used to saying the pig. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add just a little more. And of course, that's all to taste. Frank's Red Hot isn't especially hot to me is not nearly as spicy as Tabasco or like Chula's or something like that. So there's one filling right there. Then we move on to softened cream cheese, about a half a cup of shredded cheddar and about a quarter of a cup. This actually is five pieces of cooked crumbled bacon. And I'm going to need use, to loosen that up just a little bit. Could what? use bakos, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, bakos are icky. Good, but not good. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of uh, cream in here just to loosen this mixture up a little. Want it to be just a little more soft. You can just add some milk if you want, that's fine. Or you could even add hot sauce to this one if you want. No biggie. We're going to keep this one really mild just the sweet peppers, the cream cheese, the cheddar cheese, and the bacon. This will be for the people that come to your party who don't like the spiciness. Okay, so what we have over here, let me just get this stuff out of the way, is I have, I cooked off, I par cooked a pound of bacon. Yeah. You want it pliable and floppy. You don't want it to be raw because it will not cook all the way in the oven and you don't want it to be fully cooked because you won't be able to wrap it. So, now what we're gonna do 
is we're going to go ahead and put these fillings in some zip top bags. And I'll be right back. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. I am just going to pick some peppers. I have cut the corners off of these bags and I'm going to top them off. You might not want to put that much in it, but you know. And then we're going to wrap them with some bacon. And this is where the tricky part is. So again, if we tap, 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 and then I have a big skewer and we're going to try and hold the bacon on here. This is the problem. Okay, move it down all the way and then it's not going to stand up, but we're going to try and keep it upright like that, okay? And we're going to wrap it. Some of these are short. The trick here is you want to catch the bacon and the pepper on the skewer at the same time. And see, that one didn't work. So let me go. I'm going to stuff some of these, and then we're going to see how well we can make this work. Okay, we're back, and um, Rick and I both did this. I got frustrated. And Rick said, do you want me to do it? She did and the I first said, ones. Yes, but mm. not in so little words. Mm. <laughs> I got really frustrated. Did you ever have one of those days where you just felt angry at everything? And that was just the last straw. So I walked away and let Rick do it. Oh, and they're, they're odd shaped and they don't like to stand up right. So what I did is I just draped them over the top, put the skewer up towards the top of this pepper. So it'll hopefully it will help it stand up right. So we're going to put these in a 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes and then when we come back you'll see what they look like when they're all done. And my last two peppers didn't have any bacon on them because we ran out. So, But that's alright. We'll see how they turn out. Yeah. Okay. Let's pull these out and see what we got. Oh, Looks like we had... Good. They smell delicious. Nice. Oh. Looks like we had a little bit of leakage but for the most part I think it's good. Mm -hmm. well, the misshapen peppers, you have to do with them. Those look really delicious. Now, we're going to let these sit here for just about five minutes and then we're going to deep pan them. We're going to take them off the skewers and we'll put them on a pretty plate and we'll bring you back and we'll show you what they look like. Here they are in all of their beauty. Now, we took these off the skewers. They came off the skewers very easily um, with a light touch and with a pair of small tongs. And then what I did was I put these long, these are just long, they're like appetizer skewers um, for like shrimp um, brochette or, you know, whatever. Um, they're bigger than a toothpick but smaller than like a jumbo bamboo skewer like we use to put them all on. And we did try one, the one that gave me all the problems and made me so frustrated. It was a real problem. So in the end, we ended up consuming it. And I have to tell you, Ooh, it is so good. these are so delicious. You are going to want to make these. And if you do make them, don't make them for a party. Just make them for yourself because you'll eat well, them all. Make them for the rest of you. Yeah, I know. Rick's going to probably eat them all, right? I could. These are amazing, and they're so satisfying. They're the perfect mouthful, and I hope that you try these. Um, we had a little bit of the spread left over. This is the bacon and cream cheese filling, and this is the buffalo chicken filling. I put them in ramekins so that we can serve them with some crackers on the side and their fabulous appetizer or pickup. You can make these without having to stuff them into peppers. You can just make it for a quick kind really of um, cracker spread. So there's a couple of ideas. You got a little bonus there with the leftovers. I hope that you try these and I hope that you love them. I hope that your team wins, whichever team that may be. I'm not telling you who I'm rooting for. And until next time, I'll see ya. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something and I hope you're going to give it a try and I hope that you love it. I know that you will. I also wanted to say if you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen. 
And also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and also on my blog over at blogger.com. There will be links to all of those things in the information bar below. So, I hope that you all have a great day, and make sure that you come back tomorrow. I'll see ya!